hello i'm going to make a short video on how to make back hole uh, i've measured out the ingredients as shown in the pictures so this is indonesian wood chips this is ground uh, wood i can't remember the specific one uh, i decided to use both mix both to make a uh, things easier for me because I would like to blend this to, to make it finer. So this is part of the uh, wood, uh, wood chips for the back row. This is uh, two thirds of my of the quantity for this uh, formula. This is one third. Then these are the dried flowers, uh, lavender, sorry I mixed them together. Lavender rose, I'm using a big scotch too, and these are the clove, clove buds. So I'm going to grind all of this into powder form. And these are the resins. This is amber. Oh no, sorry. This is my, this is my resin. This is amber. It smells very, very nice. And then the rest are frankincense and resins. So I'm going to grind this into powder form. The number uh, is a bit sticky. I'll see how to make this into finer form. So I'm going to grind this the wood separately, the flower board separately, then the resin separately, and then mix all together. So I've blended the ingredients. This is the wood chips. I mixed um, both the tool I showed earlier and blended them. So this is the larger chips are a bit finer now. And then these are the resins all blended together. Frankincense, amber, maya, and mastica. I forgot to mention mastica earlier. These are the dried flowers blended together, rose, lavender, and hibiscus. So I'm going to mix them up now. Okay, so I'm going to mix, uh, first of all, the resins and the wood. Make sure they are combined very well. You can add the flowers too. Give it a good mix. Make sure the mixture is uh, make sure the mixture is uniform, as uniform as possible. So next, I'm going to add the fragrance oils. Uh, this is uh, sandalwood oil, fragrance oil. This is a blend of wood and leather, leather fragrance oils. This is a, this is black musk oil. And this is uh, a traditional buhul blend. It's called ruhul. Buhul wood. This is a custom blend. So I'm going to mix the four of them. As mentioned earlier in the course, as mentioned in the course, you can uh, make a blend of the kind of fragrances you like, but preferably they should be woody, oriental, or balsamic notes. That's what makes it a buhul. So I'm going to mix all this together in one container before adding to the buhul. So I've taken the proportions of um, fragrance oil blends I want and uh, some of them are actually essential oils. Then the, uh, which one now? The, the wood, the essential oils. So I'm going to add I prefer to add the fragrance oil to the 
mix of uh, wood chips, flour, and uh, raisins. And mix, mix some them thoroughly. Then I'll keep it aside and um, prepare the caramel to add. Some people prefer to add the caramel before the fragrance or essential oils, but I'm thinking about the heat from the caramel evaporating the oil. So I prefer it this way. Much of the essential the fragrance oils as possible. So, this is the blend of uh, wood chips, dried uh, ground dried flour, ground resin, and uh, the fragrance oil blend. You can see they are nicely mixed together. So, I'm going to make the caramel and uh, add it as a final step. Uh, I'm going to cover this with. In plastic film and make sure it's uh, at least sealed until I'm ready with the caramel. This is to prevent escape, too much escape of the fragrance. So this is the sugar and rose water. I'm trying to make the caramel now. So boil preferably at low heat and keep stirring so that the sugar doesn't burn. And if you go on until the sugar slowly caramelizes. At this stage, you can, when the sugar is all melted, you can um, stop stirring with spoon and stir by just moving the pan around like this. So the sugar has caramelized. Sorry, I didn't take you through the entire process because I'm recording with my phone. So I'm going to add this uh, to the mixture of uh, wood, uh, baku blend, uh, resins, and ground flour. I'll add this and mix thoroughly. Okay, so I'm adding the caramel now. It's thickening very fast as it's cooling, so we have to walk fast. first before it solidifies. Let's see if I can get more out of the pot. Actually, trying this combination for the first time, so so be careful. The caramel is very hot. So before it cools completely, I'll try to mold it into balls. As I mentioned in the course, try to wear a face mask because uh, as you are mixing in the caramel which is a bit hot you get fumes being released in the fragrance 
so I try to make this into small balls you can see it's molding nicely make it into smaller bits remember to work fast because as the caramel cools it solidifies So this is the final product. I was able to mold them, uh, mold the back row into small balls because of the caramel. The caramel serves as a binder and also as a fixative for the fragrance. Of course, uh, your back row will look a lot uh, prettier if you use powdered wood. And uh, if you want, if you don't want to blend the wood chips whatever size you want to use you can do so it's up to you uh, just make sure you uh, mix the fragrance oil blend in such a way that it's it's evenly distributed on the wood on the wood chips and then don't forget to add your caramel or your very thick sugar syrup to fix the fragrance oil blend to the wood chips no matter the size so thank you i hope you will try to make some back rolls